The New Testament in a Year with Psalms and Proverbs Day 9 Mark 5, 21 to 43. Jairus' daughter and the woman who touched Jesus' cloak. Jesus went back across to the other side of the lake. There at the lakeside, a large crowd gathered around him. Jairus, an official of the local synagogue, arrived, and when he saw Jesus, he threw himself down at his feet and begged him earnestly. My little daughter is very sick. Please come and place your hands on her so that she will get well and live. Then Jesus started off with him. So many people were going along with Jesus that they were crowding him from every side. There was a woman who had suffered terribly from severe bleeding for 12 years, even though she had been treated by many doctors. She had spent all her money, but instead of getting better, she got worse all the time. She had heard about Jesus, so she came in the crowd behind him, saying to herself, If I just touch his clothes, I will get well. She touched his cloak, and her bleeding stopped at once. And she had the feeling inside herself that she was healed of her trouble. At once, Jesus knew that power had gone out of him. So he turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? His disciples answered, You see how the people are crowding you? Why do you ask who touched you? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. The woman realized what had happened to her, so she came, trembling with fear, knelt at his feet, and told him the whole truth. Jesus said to her, My daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your trouble. While Jesus was saying this, some messengers came from Jairus' house and told him, Your daughter has died. Why bother the teacher any longer? Jesus paid no attention to what they said, but told him, Don't be afraid, only believe. Then he did not let anyone else go on with him except Peter and James and his brother John. They arrived at Jairus' house, where Jesus saw the confusion and heard all the loud crying and wailing. He went in and said to them, Why all this confusion? Why are you crying? The child is not dead. She is only sleeping. They started making fun of him. So he put them all out, took the child's father and mother and his three disciples, and went into the room where the child was lying. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha kum, which means, little girl, I tell you, get up. She got up at once and started walking around. She was 12 years old. When this happened, they were completely amazed. But Jesus gave them strict orders not to tell anyone. And he said, give her something to eat. Proverbs 9. Wisdom and Stupidity. Wisdom has built her house and made seven columns for it. She has had an animal killed for a feast, mixed spices in the wine, and set the table. She has sent her servant women to call out from the highest place in the town. Come in, ignorant people. And to the fool she says, Come, eat my food and drink my wine that I have mixed. Leave the company of ignorant people and live. Follow the way of knowledge. If you correct conceited people, you will only be insulted. If you reprimand evil people, you will only get hurt. Never correct conceited people. They will hate you for it. But if you correct the wise, they will respect you. Anything you say to the wise will make them wiser. 
Whatever you tell the righteous will add to their knowledge. To be wise, you must first have reverence for the Lord. If you know the Holy One, you have understanding. Wisdom will add years to your life. You are the one who will profit if you have wisdom. And if you reject it, you are the one who will suffer. Stupidity is like a loud, ignorant, shameless woman. She sits at the door of her house or on a seat in the highest part of town and calls out to the people passing by who are minding their own business. Come in, ignorant people. To the foolish, she says, Stolen water is sweeter. Stolen bread tastes better. Her victims do not know that the people die who go to her house, that those who have already entered are now deep in the world of the dead. <laughs>